You know, I think each win has been extremely important along the way, and it's made each game uh, and each opportunity just that much bigger. You know, to be 3 0 in the league and to beat uh, a team like Drexel, who we got a lot of respect in, especially after what they did to us last year here to end our season, I think meant a lot to our guys. I think it had the significance of having the 100 year celebration and the alumni that came back here today. It added a little pressure, uh, I would imagine, to our guys, but it adds a little bit of uh, significance to this win, having them here alongside of us. and. Uh, hopefully, in, in, in some way, shape, or form, it can pay back a little bit of, of what they've done for us to build the foundation of Penn State across. What did you guys do differently in that uh, second half? That's what was not as well. You know, against the zone, I thought we just moved a little bit better. Uh, I thought they did a good job early uh, going into the zone, which they've done in each game that they've competed and played against when they've gone down. Um, I don't think we were doing a great job of moving, finding the open guys. I thought we did a better job there. I thought we just competed a little bit more, which we did not do against this team last year. I thought Danny Hennigan in particular at the face-off X uh, reversed a couple of possessions that we just didn't get in the first half, and I thought the momentum of the game shifted because of that. So uh, there wasn't any magical formula that we put in offensively or defensively. I thought our guys just did a better job in the second half of competing at a higher level. Uh, a couple of shots fell in the second half that didn't fall in the first half. I thought their goalie played real well with seven saves in the first half. And I thought we were fortunate to just kind of pull away a little bit in the third quarter, get some breathing room into the fourth, and then just kind of run away with it uh, at the end. What did you tell the guys in the uh, third quarter that is still going you know, I thought we did a good job of developing a lead, but we've seen Drexel come back against so many opponents. I mean, they're notorious in the second half. They've outscored their opponents by uh, 36 goals in the second half. So we just talked to them about continuing to do what they did and make sure that we were doing the little things, be a little bit more intelligent offensively. We were in a, in a hurry to push any transition. We wanted to kind of wind the clock down because we just know how talented they are and how dangerous they are on the offensive end. And if we gave up too much, it's a team, even with five minutes left with the uh, seven goal lead we were still you know a little bit anxious about uh, that clock winding down so it was more about just being a little bit more disciplined uh, shutting the door defensively and uh, seeing if we can just continue to keep chipping away in the offensive end these guys got you last year no playoffs revenge game i guess you know what i i i, I say to our guys look you can't change the past uh, and i'm not sure we want to i think it is uh, it, it's made us who we are today and there's been some very difficult times in our past certainly in my short tenure in two and a half years there have been some very difficult moments, but moments, but we've considered them adversity, and, and I love the way our guys fight back after losses against teams the year prior uh, to prepare even even sharper than they did before. And um, I, I think it's a great win for our program, the history of our program. But I would say for the guys that competed and played last year, it's, it's little consolation because we can't go back and uh, put that bid in for the playoffs. But it was a good step for us against what I would consider a very good cross team. Speaking of the history, alumni all around, I stay for a win. Yeah, you know what, it, it, and we talked to our guys about this, control the controllables, go on the field, do everything you can to play um, at a Penn State level, and then tonight go out and celebrate uh, the foundation of, of Penn State across which they provided. So I'm, I'm thankful uh, that this will provide a little bit more excitement for tonight, maybe a few more smiles on the faces of our alums, and take a little pressure off our guys as we go into this evening's dinner. How do you kind of build upon you know this win? How does it kind of set the tone? You know, heading into you know the final stretch of the season. I think it's going to be important just to maintain uh, that hunger within our guys. I think at this point, uh, if you look back and reflect too much on what you've done, other than to learn lessons um, and critically analyze what you've done uh, well, but also what you've done not so well, um, you can become a little bit complacent. So I'm hoping that what we can do is look back. Uh, be excited about the momentum that we've built, but be real hungry and prepare like we did this past week in the three weeks that we have ahead of us to end the regular season. You talked about that focus and that hunger. How have you seen that kind of, like that, uh, I guess, like excellent to this point now? You know, I think it's easy when your leaders remain hungry. Uh, you know, Travis Crane and Jack Forrester come out to practice and they work so hard every day. And when our guys look at that uh, as their captains, guys that have been around um, for four years, it's, it's easy because it becomes contagious. So it's one thing to say it if a coach says it, or it's one thing to say it if a captain says it, but it's another thing to do it. And, and we talk to our guys about well done, it's better than well said. And those guys have done a great job of, uh, of moving ahead and making sure that they set that tone and that example.